It's time now to do exercise seven. And in this exercise, we're going to practice some of the skills that we've learned in this section of the course. So the first thing I'd like you to do is open the exercise file exercise7.xlsx. And I'd like you to format the data as an Excel table and name that table invoices. I'd like you to choose a table style and I don't mind which table style you do choose and make sure that you turn off banded rows. I'd also like you to make sure that you have filters turned on and I'd like you to add a total row. And then finally, I'd like you to calculate the average invoice amount using table references in the formula. So a few different things to do there. If you'd like to see my answer, then please keep watching. So the first thing I asked you to do here was to convert this data into a table. So we're going to click somewhere within the data and press Control T. Yes, my table has headers. Let's click on OK. And we're going to name this table invoices. So let's make sure we're on the table design ribbon. Let's go over to the properties group, which is the first group on the ribbon. And we're simply going to type in invoices and press enter. Hi from everyone at Simon Says It. We hope you're enjoying this training lesson. Please like this video to show your support for the channel. If you want to take your learning further, earn a certificate for this course, and gain access to over 200 courses ad free, click up there and go to simonsaysit.com. Thanks for watching and back to the course. Now, I then asked you to change the table style and I didn't mind which table style you used. So I'm going to go for this green table style. I asked you to remove banded rows. So in our table style options, let's deselect banded rows to turn those off. I wanted you to make sure that we had filters turned on, which we do. And I asked you to add a total row. So we want to make sure we have a tick in this box just there. And then the final thing is we need to perform a calculation in cell I5. We need to work out what is the average invoice amount. And I asked you to include table references in the formula. So what we're going to do here is we're going to type in equals average. And we're simply going to go over to the amount column, hover our mouse just above until we get that black downward pointing arrow and click to select that column. And notice that we now have table references in the formula. We have the table name, invoices, followed by the column name. Let's close the bracket, hit enter, and we can see that that is the average invoice amount. Now I'm going to apply some formatting. Let's change that to dollar, and that looks a lot better. I hope you've gotten okay with that. I will see you in the next section. Congratulations on reaching the end of this training video. Continue your training in Excel 365 for beginners with the next video in the series by clicking over here. For more related training videos, click over here to watch this popular playlist of free learning resources. To see more videos like this one, click below to subscribe.